Hello all. Today we're going to learn about a UK based cycle company which made motorcycles, bicycles, lawn mowers and stationary engines that is Royal Enfield. Let us know this company in a much better way. Royal Enfield was a name under which the Enfield Cycle Company made motorcycles, bicycles, lawn mowers and stationary engines. The legacy of weapons manufacture is reflected in the logo, a cannon and the motto, made like a gun, goes like a bullet. Use of the brand name Royal Enfield was licensed by the Crown in 1890. The original Redditch, Worcestershire based company was sold to Norton Villiers Triumph NVT in 1968. Royal Enfield produced bicycles at its Redditch factory until it closed in early 1967. The company's last new bicycle was the Revelation Small Wheeler, which was released in 1965. Production of motorcycles ceased in 1970 and the company was dissolved in 1971. In 1956, Enfield of India started assembling bullet motorcycles under license from UK components and by 1962 was manufacturing complete bikes. Enfield of India bought the rights to use the Royal Enfield name in 1995. Royal Enfield production based in Tiruvottiur, Chennai continues and Royal Enfield is now the oldest motorcycle brand in the world, still in production with the bullet model, enjoying the longest motorcycle production run of all time. In May 2013, a new assembly facility was started at Oragadam, Chennai. In 1893, the Enfield Manufacturing Company Limited was registered to manufacture bicycles, adopting the branding Royal Enfield. By 1899, Royal Enfield were producing a quadricycle, a bicycle modified by adding a wraparound four-wheeled frame, retaining a rear rider saddle with handlebars having a front-mounted passenger seat, driven by a rear-mounted D. Dion engine. In 1914, Enfield supplied large numbers of motorcycles to the British War Department and also won a motorcycle contract for the Imperial Russian Government. Enfield used its own 225cc two-stroke single and 425cc V-twin engines. During World War II, the Enfield Cycle Company was called upon by the British authorities to develop and manufacture military motorcycles. The models produced for the military were the WDC 350cc side valve, WDCO 350cc OHV, WDD 250cc SV, WDG 350cc OHV and WDL 570cc SV. One of the most well-known Enfields was the Royal Enfield WDRE, known as the Flying Flea, a lightweight 125cc motorcycle designed to be dropped by parachute with airborne troops. In 1948, a ground-breaking development in the form of rear suspension springing was developed, initially for competition models, trials models. But this was soon offered on the road-going model bullet 350cc, a single-cylinder OHV. In 1965, a 21 BHP 16kW variant called the Continental GT with red GRP tank, 5-speed gearbox which is also an option on the Crusader, clip-on handlebars, rear set footrests, swept pipe and hump-backed seats was launched. It sold well with its race styling including a fly screen resembling a race number plate which doubled as a front number plate mount. As far as the motorcycle brand goes, though it would appear that Royal Enfield is the only motorcycle brand to span three centuries and still going with continuous production. A few of the original reddish factory buildings remain 2009 and are part of the Enfield industrial estate. From 1955 to 1959, Royal Enfields were painted red and marketed in the USA as Indian motorcycles by the Brockhouse Corporation, who had control of the Indian Sales Corporation and therefore Indian motorcycles, and had stopped manufacturing all American Indians in the Springfield factory in 1953. But Americans were not impressed by the badge engineering, and the marketing agreement ended in 1960, and from 1961, Royal Enfields were available in the US under their own name. The largest Enfield Indian was a 700cc twin named the Chief like its American predecessors. The REOC exists as a forum for the interchange of ideas and information on the maintenance, restoration and the use of Royal Enfield motorcycles and machines. This includes modern Royal Enfield motorcycles as well as Royal Enfield cycles, lawn mowers and stationary engines.
At the heart of the 2014 Royal Enfield Continental GT sits a single-cylinder, four-stroke, air-cooled engine with a displacement of 535cc. It is mated on a five-speed constant mesh transmission with wet multiplate clutch. The engine delivers a maximum power of 29.1 bhp, 21.4 kilowatts, at 5,100 rpm with 44 Nm of torque at 4,000 rpm, which makes the Continental GT the strongest model in Royal Enfield's lineup. Royal Enfield's models include the Bullet, Classic and Thunderbird in both 350 and 500 cc displacements. Its bikes are exported to over 40 countries across the world, including USA, Japan, UK and other European nations and Latin American countries, as well as the Middle East and South Asia. So we got to know about the various aspects of Royal Enfield. We went through the company's history to its present scenario. Hope the information was useful and have a good day.